Hello friends, how are you doing this morning? Welcome to my channel. This is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and I'm here in my craft room, craft room doing some crafting this morning, making little ephemera pieces for the current journals I'm working on. I was just going to do a few but it's developed into more than a few so I was going to share what I'm doing. This is an envelope I decorated. I think that turned out super cute. I received this bu bunny fabric uh, from my friend V this past week and so I fussy cut some of the bunnies out, a couple of them, and used one right there. Here's the back. This is just an old envelope where it even has a tear right there, but it's so cool, right? <laughs> we like things like that, don't we? This is a index divider card and decorated this side and left the other side for journaling. But it, I did add a couple of butterflies there. This is the Monopoly um, Money I collage on the back of a scrapbook paper. I just added this little um, kind of topper, bow topper there with some some of my vintage sheets. And uh, this I and I I um, fussy, fussy, messy stitched around, <laughs> messy stitched around that. I went around three times. I think it was. It looks like three or two and three right here. But anyway, I like doing that sometimes. It's for something different. So that came out cute. And this is another piece of the Monopoly money. I'm going to add some, you know, collage where I cut it into like a cover. Zigzag stitch. I'm going to add some pages in there off camera. But I just wanted to share that. So right now I am going to glue these bunnies onto these postalettes. You know, the trifold little... Uh, notes that you can sometimes pick up at thrift stores and these I received from V also so let's just do this with the bunnies this one I think I'm going to use um, art glitter glue to glue down because it's kind of a more thin fabric so I think that art glitter glue will work on here and the other one that I'm going to do I'm going to make sure I'm putting the glue on the right side the other one I'm going to put some I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because it's a kind of my like feels like almost like felt and it's a little thicker and I don't know if uh, art glitter glue would hold that down but I know that I've used art glitter glue on a f like thinner fabrics like this you know regular fabric and it glues it down good and flat so that's what I want and I want to get these ears Although I'm going to have to either fold the ears over or let them stick up at the, over the top. So we'll see how this turns out here. But I want him like sitting in the garden here <laughs> on this little postalette. I thought that would be fun. Uh, let me see. I have, um, let me get a wet wipe out here. Oh, baby wipe. For my glue that I'm getting everywhere. This package is almost gone and I have a new one, a backup. <laughs> right behind it under my table here I keep handy so yeah I'm getting glue everywhere aren't I okay let me put that up there in case I need it again okay so let's get this glued down nice and flat yeah so I was just having some fun here I wasn't really planning on turning the can on the camera okay I think I'm gonna just if this doesn't work where I bend over his ears and maybe I'll just cut him off cut off that tip oh okay let's see if it's gonna bend now without coming apart. Well, if I let it dry, it would be a good idea, right? <laughs> I should let it dry. Okay, so he's all nice and glued down. His foot's sticking down a little bit here, though. Let me see if that'll fold. I'm going to cut that off right there. It's a little tiny tip of his foot. Didn't really mean to put that down there, but I think that'll work out well, actually. So that they gave it a little bit, tiny bit of room on the top for his ears. So there we go. Yeah. So yeah, I was trying to wanted to use some of these things that V sent me this week. She sent them especially for these journals. So yeah, I wasn't finished with the journal, so why not go ahead and and have some fun with these things, these bunny little things. So here, see, this one's a little almost. It does feel like felt. So you know, I don't know if um, art glitter glue would grab it enough to keep it down. So. Why not be safe and put some Fabri-Tac on here? So I think that's enough on all the spaces there. I've got it around the edge. Really good. Let me get the ears. Really good tip of the ears there. Okay, that should be good. So this one will be sitting in the garden too. Like Peter Rabbit, right? 
All right, so these can be clipped onto a page for some fun or put in a pocket if it's if it's flat enough. This one will be flat enough over here, but this one might just be, be need to be uh, clipped on, but we'll see how that works out. But isn't that adorable little addition to those <laughs> gardeny little postalettes there? So I'm going to consider those done. I've got my basket over here with all my goodies that I'm using for this. For this, so uh, so I'm going to put those over there to finish drawing. So um, how it started out was I was decorating. I was going to decorate these. These are recipe cards. So I haven't done that yet. So I still need to figure that out. And I just have some bits and pieces here. And I wanted to decorate some of these. This is where I've already decorated. I decorated three of them. I have one there. And then I just I just showed you. Let me see. Where are my other ones? I think I decorated some other ones, but they have disappeared now. I probably put them in my basket. Oh, here, here's one. Yeah, this one here. Oh, here they are. I just put some journaling cards on here because look how good they match. Some of the cut aparts from that paper pack I'm using, it fit on here perfectly. I didn't even have to cut it down and it matched these colored, this color of um, the little divider card. So this says have a wonderful day. So isn't that going to be cute in a journal? And this one, good things are happening and look how nicely that matched. And I added some butterflies on the back of both of them. And then so you have all that journaling space on the back there. So super cute, and I put them like this so that if I do put them in a tuck spot or something, you have the little tab for a grab spot, right? So those are super cute, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to add anything else. I mean, you always could put some lace or something, but they're so cute just like that. I might just leave them like that. So I wanted to see uh, what else I could add to all of these. This is all I have left of that color, and I pulled out all the other ones I have just in case we had... You know how I always think we're going to get 10 million things done, and we don't. We get two things done during my videos, right? But I pulled out those, and I pulled out all of these. Green, blue, you know. Um, here's some, you know, the manila colored type ones there. So, yeah, let's see how many we'd get done. But, um, okay, so I've got all these little journaling pieces, the cut aparts. And I have this recipe. I kind of wanted to see what we could do with that, too. Like I kind of like stick recipes in, um, or I'm trying to remember to do that, to stick recipes in my journals. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to collage with one, you know? Like tear it off and put, tear it and put it on here. Wouldn't that be cute? Just a piece of one. I mean, it's not, this is just, you know, this is actually a kind of an old feeling piece of paper. You can hear that crinkle and it's not just, I don't know what kind of paper it is, but it's, Probably just been around for a while and it's just a scrap maybe that this person wrote their recipe on I picked it up at a thrift store so let's uh, let's do it let's see what it looks like if we actually kind of just glue a recipe on here you know and it's handwritten so it, it's original authentic it's not a copy so yeah I just thought that would be fun to see how we can what we can do with this and, you know, sometimes you need ideas, like you pick these things up, you think they're so cool, and then, like, they sit because you don't know what to do with them, right? <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'm having these ideas, so why not share them right now at this very moment? So, um, so I'm just using some art glitter glue on the back of this old recipe. Let me make sure I get the edges, because we want the edges down good. We want the whole thing down good, but... If you don't have the edges down good, then, you know, then that just starts the trouble where things start peeling up from the edge, and there it goes. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on. See, I can, if I put it in as a journaling card, it can, you can grab the tab there. So, oh, let's move this up a little. I put it too low there. Okay, because I want a little border of the color all the way around. All right, I want it nice and flat, no wrinkles or anything. No reason to have any wrinkles in here. Okay, so cool, right? We've got our hand written original recipe on there for sweet potatoes, something or other. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Okay, so what else can we put on there? Let's look at 
what would go with that. So I have a couple of cut aparts, but these are too big. These are all the regular size ones. And these are the smaller ones. And so, yeah, I don't want to cover up this whole recipe or anything, but what if I had one that would look cute on there? I don't know if, if any of them will look cute on there. Maybe we want to put something that looks more kind of vintage because those are, you know, new. I just cut them out. What about this little circle thing I have here? That would look kind of cute. Oh, more of the recipe would show over there. I wonder, let's see what else I have here. You know what I have here? Some of these silk flowers. Some of those might look cute on there. Let's see. And they wouldn't cover up too much. You can just put a little silk flower. Um, I only have limited colors in here. Purple. This one here, which doesn't really go with the colors, but you could use it. White and white, you know, white. So I don't think I want to use that. The purple one that would look. They're kind of bulky, though. I don't know if I want to use that bulk on here. So let's not do that. Let's see about a piece of lace. That would be fun. Put a lace piece of lace somewhere on here. And you don't have to have a big... Like, you don't have to have lace going all the way across. You can just have a little piece somewhere just for that added little bit of texture. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and put it. I like that. Let's put a little piece of lace on here. Three little flowers here. I'm going to put them right down here with a little bit of Fabri-Tac. Make sure they stick down. Maybe some butterflies. How about that? That would be cool. I just, I have my butterflies sitting here. Can you see them right over here? I'll pick them, move them over here in just a second so you can see them better. But I have a little, it's where I want to punch out butterflies. I just add them to this little dish here. <laughs> so, yeah, so that will be there. And that'll be cute. Just a little piece of lace to add a little bit of texture and, you know, something pretty. Okay, now a couple of butterflies. That would be maybe the perfect addition. And then you can see the whole recipe still. Um, I'm kind of not being picky on the colors. They don't have to match or anything. Just kind of picking out the sizes that I want. There's three different size butterflies in here. Here's my butterfly dish in case you haven't seen it before. <laughs> I have shown it before, but here's a big one down here. But that won't. We don't need that one. So we've got a little brownish one here. I could put it right up there. And let me just, I'm not going to, I'm closing my eyes and I'm going to pick one out because there, there's so many in here, it's hard to pick out. Well, i got a black one. Let's see, you can layer that up like that. I don't, I don't want a black one though. <laughs> I don't want a black one. Let's see, any other color but a black. Okay, here's a green one. I want some, this one doesn't have any color really. I mean, it's tan. So I didn't want to, you know, I want something with color there. Let's see. Um, I think I want a smaller one though. I don't want to cover up the recipe that much. I don't mind covering up a little. I'm picturing it. See, I got something over here, so I don't want to put this over here, even though that's a blank spot. It would look cute there, wouldn't it? But I think I need to balance this out with something over here. So let me get another tiny one. Because I have a really tiny ones here. See these? So tiny, tinier. This is a, this is the medium. This is the tiny, and then the other one, like the black one that you saw, that's the biggest butterfly punch I have. So I'm just going to use some art glitter glue on these. Go ahead and glue these down. So that was something different. And you can, you know, if you don't have any original recipes, you can always print some out. I have been saving some when I, I searched it on Pinterest, free printable recipes, and I now they keep popping up, you know how that works on Pinterest. So... I, um, I think I started a board where I have, or, or maybe I just put them in my printables. I don't know, but, uh, my printables on, board on, uh, on Pinterest. And so now when I see them, you know, I have a bunch of originals, so I don't need them right now. But when, when I see them, some really cool ones, there we go. Isn't that cute? Okay. Very, um, different kind of original, you know, uh, little journaling card there. So what else? Let's do some more. Let's do one of these. Let's see what we can do with one of these. So I did want to decorate some of these. So 
I want to be able to see. I like to be able to see the thing in the background um, a lot. Let's see. I just had a piece of. Uh, oh, you know what? I have some. I have some. Maybe we can put some bunnies on here. Cut out some bunnies and put them on here. I have some, my book. My book. I my books. I've been cutting up right here. So if I can find a little bunny or something, I could put just put a little bunny on there. Let's see. This is what I've been, this is all my cut cut up pages. I put them all in this one paperback cover here so I could flip through here when I need something. So like I've got Peter Rabbit and I've got several cut out here already though. I could use these for envelopes or whatever. But I've used part of all of these books right here in the three journal, the three bunny journals I'm working on right now. So let's see, here's, here's the little pages like I've cut down to page size, like cut off the, the blank side, you know, borders, and cut them down to their like base size. And then from here I can fussy cut any of these, but these are all original, you know, pages from a book. So here's a little one, I could cut that out. That might fit on one of these. Will that fit? Oh, I think it will. Okay, we might fussy cut that one. Let's see if we have any more small ones. This little guy, these two, I could fussy cut them out. Yeah, they'll fit. And is that it? This, he's a little bit too big. Okay, let's just go with those since we found those three. That's all we, all I pulled out. I have um, the recipe cards, these right here. I have them sitting here to remind me to use them. I didn't put them away in my drawer. And these two I've had sitting here ever since I brought them home from the thrift store. Like, I want to use those. I'm not going to put them away. I'm just going to leave them there. And when I do a project, I'm going to use them, use some of them. You know what I mean? So that's my, uh, <laughs> that's my strategy in trying to use my stuff, right? So if you're wanting to, if you have something, say, that you have put away, and you're like, I need to remember to use that. You know, maybe leave it out where you can see it. Because I like my stuff put away. I don't like a mess. So I'm not, you know, I'm not leaving a whole bunch of stuff out. But that's two things. Only two things I left out. So maybe once in a while I'll switch it out. <clears throat> Take out something else I need to use more of, you know. And use that for a while. You know, and then maybe after I've used like these for a while, I'll be like, okay, I have that in my head now that I own those. And I, you know, maybe it'll help me remember that I do have them if I do end up putting them away at some point. <clears throat> Might have to take a drink here in a second. I've got, I've got, uh, I think my spring allergies are starting. I mentioned it, like, you know, I always mention my allergies probably in my videos, but, um, you know, so I always have something going on, sniffles or whatever, but my spring allergies are my, are my real serious allergies where I have to take um, some allergy medicine, actually. So I think they're starting, like, they don't really get serious until the yellow pollen comes out, and that's not out yet, but here in North Carolina anyway, in my area, I haven't seen any yellow pollen, but I'm sure there's pollen out there right now that's starting to mess with my allergies and then it's because I've already had to take an allergy pill just to you know keep myself in order here <laughs> okay there isn't that cute I think I'll put him over here isn't that adorable now I could could, could combine him with one of these you're cute wouldn't that be pretty but I don't want to cover up the you're cute I don't want to cut off that flower either. So I could put that. Let's see. Let's see how we can put both of these on here. You're cute. You can read it, right? And then I think I might distress this a little bit. It's so white, right? I know, I know that's what you're saying. Like, Sherry, that's so new looking. Are you really going to put that on there? That's a vintage <laughs> recipe. And a, well, he's. He's vintage too, yeah. The book he came from was vintage. So maybe if I distress this a little, bring down some of that white here. See? And I wonder how my time is doing. I have a feeling that 
I don't know. See, I told you we'd only get two things done. That's how it is. <laughs> it just takes time, right? But I am all, I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing on anything. I want to, you know, I don't want to just rush through things. I want to really make everything special. You know what I mean? And I feel like if I'm rushing through it, I'm not really doing my best. So I'm just kind of taking my time and trying to do things. I think that looks better with the... Maybe I'll put a little bit on the white part too. See? And make it a little... Bring down some of that white a little bit. Here we go. Just put a little bit all over so it looks like... Yeah, I think that blends in a little bit more than sticking out like bright white type of thing. I think I can use our, uh, my art glitter glue on here. Before it dries up and doesn't let me... You know, it doesn't flow anymore. I left, I'm leaving my pin out for the moment because I'm using it. But now I know I'm covering up some of the recipe, but the idea is just to, um, you know, you know what it was. It was a recipe card. And now it's a journaling card. So you're not really trying to use the recipe. You're just, you know, making a fun journaling card out of something that used to be a recipe card. And now. It's got a new life as a journaling card, and it's so cute. Right? Okay, so we're going to put him up here. You can still read, even though his foot's covering up a little bit of the E. You can still read that. So he's overlapping a little bit. Isn't that adorable? So we know that it was a recipe card, because we can see it there. We have our little bunny. We have our, you're cute. I mean, of course, he's cute, so. <laughs> and there's all of our space on the back for writing. Some of these have a little bit on the back, and some of them are blank on the back. But um, there you go. And I could add butterflies on the back, but I don't think I will. I think I like it just like that. So cute, simple. And I could be a little faster, but I'm not concerned about being fast. So, <laughs> all right, that's our little scrap there. We might need that for something later, the little trees. Maybe we can um, tear those out and use them somewhere. Okay, um... Do we have time? Let's see, we, we, made, um, we made two. So um, I think I'm going to end it here. That was, you know, I gave you ideas on using these and these. And the idea of the ones I already made where I just glued a journaling card, you know, cut apart on here. And isn't, isn't it in some little butterflies? I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. But still super cute and pretty, right? So that's what I, that was my goal, just to give you some ideas there. And uh, hopefully I like, you like this, all these, I love this, I love this right here. And so uh, that, yeah, that's it for, for now. And I'll talk to y'all later. I hope you have a great day and um, have some fun crafting today. I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.